This afternoon, I'm delighted to introduce as guest speaker the University's Pro Vice Chancellor International, Adrian Little. Adrian is Professor of Political Theory in the Faculty of Arts, where he previously served for 10 years as head of the School of Social and Political Sciences. Adrian is a graduate of Nottingham Trent University in the UK, where he completed a Bachelor of Arts with honours before going on to receive his PhD from Queen's University, Belfast. Adrian has a strong research background in democratic theory and British and Irish politics. Among his books are Democracy and Northern Ireland, Beyond the Liberal Paradigm. He has been chief investigator on an ARC discovery project exploring lessons from South Africa and Northern Ireland for Australia's reconciliation movement. It is a pleasure to call on him to speak today. Please welcome Adrian Little. Thank you to the presiding chancellor, presiding vice chancellor, presiding academic board officer, and the presiding dean. I too would like to pay my respects to the Wurundjeri people on whose land we gather today. I'd like to acknowledge their elders past, present, and future, and pay respect to any indigenous people in the audience. Importantly, I also want to acknowledge that sovereignty over this land was never ceded. <clears throat> it's my very great pleasure to deliver the address at the graduation ceremony today, and I'm especially pleased to do so uh, as a member of the Faculty of Arts, having spent uh, a good chunk of my time at Melbourne as the head of the School of Social and Political Sciences. It is wonderful to see another cohort of diverse arts graduates about to bring a remarkable set of skills and knowledge into the world. You are the best ambassadors that the University of Melbourne has, and I hope that your experiences during your degree travel far and wide with you in your forthcoming endeavours. But the Melbourne stays close to your heart. In the second half of this year, I became Pro Vice Chancellor International at the University. Given my own tertiary education experience, this might seem slightly odd. Like many people who grew up in Northern Ireland during the Troubles, I couldn't wait to get out of the place. While the violence I grew up with was unpalatable, I found the everyday sectarianism even more oppressive, as was the translation of every single political issue into an ethno-national ethno and religious prison. It wasn't a place in those days that valued diversity, lest it upset the simplistic divided paradigm through which every issue had to be addressed. As an undergraduate in England, I experienced a multicultural and ethnically diverse student body, but it was at that time in the late 1980s almost entirely from the British Isles. We were able to bond over the Margaret Thatcher experience, but apart from that, we have very little engagement with um, people from other countries within the student cohort. I returned to Belfast to do my PhD, not because I really wanted to, but the right supervisor happened to be there. Uh, and I encountered an even less diverse environment. I was a lone political theorist amongst a group of Irish people doing topics on uh, uh, Irish, doing PhDs on Irish topics. Not surprisingly, mainly focused on the Troubles. So I couldn't really blame anyone for not wanting to come to Belfast at that time. If people like me who were born there didn't like it, it was a bit much to expect many other people to embrace it. In short, it wasn't an environment set up to welcome international students. And this was reflected in many of the things that were taught and researched. I should just add at this point, just in case anybody from the Northern Ireland Tourist Board is here, uh, the place has completely changed and uh, I very much encourage you to go there uh, now. It's a very different environment to what it was then. It's not that long ago that the University of Melbourne, like most Australian universities, contained a similarly narrow constitution and outlook. 
However, nowadays we aspire to a much more international perspective in everything that we do. Unlike some of the negative media coverage about international students as the cash cow of the Australian tertiary education sector, at Melbourne we actually aspire to have international students and an international curriculum because we want all of our students to have an international experience. We want our students from wherever they come in the world to work with and learn from their counterparts from other countries with very different experiences. Importantly, we want that diversity to be reflected in the curricula we teach and we aspire for our workforce to be comprised of outstanding international scholars. Therefore, the internationalisation that informs our strategy as a university is no longer just about enticing overseas students to Australia, as some of the negative media agenda implies. Important as that is, increasingly our strategy is about providing opportunities for our students to study with our overseas partners through, for example, teaching intensive overseas subjects, international internships, and engaging with government programs such as the new Colombo Plan. There's much ongoing work to do in these areas to meet our aspirations, but our commitment to increased internationalization of the student experience, either here in Melbourne or overseas, is relentless. Our commitment to ensuring that we provide diverse experiences in the lecture theatre and the seminar room that enable our students to go into the outside world equipped with skills and knowledge that will help them to flourish in a global environment. This is as much a reflection of the contribution of domestic students to the learning of international students as it is the other way around. Congratulations again to our students graduating today. As I said, you are our most important ambassadors, reflecting the Melbourne experience and perhaps sometimes inadvertently promoting the benefits of your studies with us without knowing it. Today is a celebrate day to celebrate your achievements and it is a great pleasure to be part of that celebration. At the same time, we celebrate the international experience that is part of coming to Melbourne and to which you have all contributed. Enjoy your day today and congratulations.